Hi everyone, today we're going to be working on my center console and actually making a panel for it and sealing it up. Hi everybody and welcome to the channel about kit cars and other car topics. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the bell notification buttons below. It really helps out the channel and I'd really appreciate it. So today we're going to be working on designing a aluminum panel. And in my design, I decided to just leave the gauges in the dash itself and actually put all the switches and um, window controls and ignition switch and your HVAC controls and all that stuff actually in the center console and mounted into an aluminum plate. So because of that, I didn't really want to make it out of wood. I didn't think it would last. Uh, the console itself is made out of wood, but the panel, I wanted to actually have something like metal. And so making an aluminum panel just seemed to be the right way to do it. So I'm going to actually design something um, on a computer and then, you know, ship it off somewhere to get made. Now, the other thing is, is this is made out of wood. The, the main console is made out of wood. And if you remember, my trans tunnel is not 100% perfect in the sense that the gear shift lever sticks out a little bit more, so it's a little bit shifted to the left. And, you know, this is all kind of custom, so it's not, like, perfect. And so the aluminum panel is not going to be square. I actually have kind of a, a V going, and those angles are not necessarily exactly the same and stuff like that. So i got to really dial this in to make it perfectly fit. It's going to take a few iterations, but once I do, it's going to be solid. So that's what we're going to do today. And then uh, we'll seal it up with some schlack and I'll show you how I do that. All right, so here's the console and the uh, final design. If we pop it up there. You can see we have, uh, you know, keyed holes, uh, you know, straight downs on different holes, D holes, stuff like that. Uh, everything for specific components. And now what I think I should do is go ahead and I'm going to countersink my holes. And then I'm going to shellac this whole thing so it's sealed and it doesn't get a lot of moisture. And then after that, you know, it'll get wrapped by, uh, by a upholstery company. So I'm going to finish that up today.
All right, so I got my shellac here, I'm mixing it up, and I'm like, yeah, I'll just you know shoot it full strength. And there's like no drips coming off this thing. It barely leaks. So that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna have to thin it out a little bit. But uh, you know, we're not sanding or doing anything crazy. We're just trying to seal this up so it's not getting moisture. So, you know, I'm not worried about, you know, filtering or anything like that. We just want to make sure that this is running so it gets through the gun. So we're just going to pour a little bit in and then you uh, thin shellac with uh, denatured alcohol. So we're going to put a little of each in there and hopefully just do a few sprays and get this thing finished. And if you didn't know, I forgot what it was, but shellac's made out of like beetle dung or beetle body parts or something like that. So it's kind of some interesting stuff, but uh, shellac is a great way to go in between water-based and uh, oil-based products. So if you're doing like a table or something like that and you did it all in water-based finish and you want to switch over to something else, shellac is a great in-between to go into any direction you want to go. All right, so we can see we have a nice amber tone from the shellac, everything's covered. And then here I just by hand kind of filled in the areas that I was holding. Um, but everything is nicely sealed with a thin coat of shellac. And then, uh, you know, they'll put the foam and the uh, leather on that. And so uh, we're good to go. I'm gonna see soon when it's time to actually order this panel. Um, but uh, I might do some kind of engraving or something in here. I might actually label the items. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do that or not. We will see, just depends on how crazy I wanna go with it. And uh, so that's about it for the uh, center console.